I've been a virtual bookkeeper for about 10 years, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about some of my favorite tools that I love and I use and I recommend that allow me to work from home or work really from anywhere. So the first couple are just like what I use for like my own business management, and then I'm gonna talk about invoicing and how I do stuff for other clients and how I get paid as a bookkeeper, and then also if you wanna travel around, what I'd recommend for that. So some of just the really basic tools that you probably think of right away is QuickBooks Online. That is a web-based platform now that you can access from anywhere, so I'm loving that. I've used that for about half my bookkeeping career now. Then of course you know about Zoom to connect with clients and talk to them. There are also free ways to remote into clients' computers now, and I can't remember the name of the program I used to use all the time to do that, but I was also just Googling it, and Windows actually has something built in where you can remote into their computer, they have to give you access, and then that's a really helpful way to work together, and you can kind of be teaching as a bookkeeper if you need to like help them fine tune some things either in QuickBooks or in their bank account. And then I have dedicated videos on the next two, so I'm not gonna go into them in detail, but it's like a task management system. So I use Asana, I'll link my video about that in the description box, but it's a really good way for you to keep track of your tasks internally or communicate with your client. And the second thing you'll need to figure out is how to share confidential documents. In my dedicated video on that, the cheapest and I think probably most popular one is called Sync. So you can easily share information on that platform. All right, so starting off when you first get a client, how are you gonna have them sign the contract remotely? I personally use HelloSign. There's a bunch of other programs that are similar, but it's really easy. You just upload the contract, you make little boxes where you want them to sign, and then you send it off to them and it gives you guys both a copy. And I do have a video about that. I'm gonna link in the description box too. The IRS still does want us to save receipts and keep track of you know what we've purchased as business owners that are deductible expenses. So what I do for my clients, if they would like to add this on as a service, is I can save all of their receipts in QuickBooks Online. So every transaction, say they went to Target and they spent $50, they can take a picture of that receipt, send it to an email address, and QuickBooks will match it to the $50 Target you know, thing that fed in from the bank. This is a service that they have to request and pay for if they want me to do it as their bookkeeper, because it does take me some extra time and effort to make sure everything's matching and everything has receipts, but it is definitely possible to do it all digitally these days. If my clients don't want to add on that service, that is totally fine with me. I don't have to deal with it. And I just recommend they keep a file in their office with all their receipts. And I don't really look at it. I don't really touch it. In that case, it is theirs to manage. And I suppose they could either file things digitally or paper copies. And paying bills as a bookkeeper. You probably know now we have online bill pay. I try to use that as much as possible with my clients. There are apps you can pay for that kind of consolidate all your bills. I find it easier just to do auto bill pay through their bank. So depending on the vendor, they might have to like trigger that payment or sometimes vendors will just take the money out automatically. I'm sure you're familiar with that. If your client is still getting paper bills in the mail, you just wanna find a way for them to scan them in and send them to you. If you want a free solution, you could just use Google Drive and make a folder, maybe a folder for each month, and they can throw all the scanned bills in there. You could use Sync, like I was talking about, if you're concerned about more confidentiality. And that is an added step for your client, so that actually might convince them to get as much as possible switched over to online bill pay. So invoicing, similar thing to bill pay you might be creating invoices for your clients so that they can collect money from their different vendors. I do this for about half my clients, so not everyone. Sometimes they have their own invoicing system in-house. But for this, you basically just need a way to get the information from them to know how much to charge each client. So they may have this information stored online somewhere. Like I had a client who was a physical therapist's office. They already had a system that told me how much each client needed to be charged. And in that case, it was a little more confusing because insurance was involved, so insurance would cover part of it and then I would invoice the rest. So there could be some specifics per client, but if they don't have any system already in place, you can literally just make like a Google spreadsheet and they can just put the amounts in there that they want to charge. So maybe they are at a janitor service and they have like 10 clients every month and then you know you have just the name of the client. So in that spreadsheet, you would just put the pertinent information. So maybe they were a janitor for Sally's office building. So Sally's office building needs to be charged $500 this month. And it's most likely easier for them to just stick it on a list for you rather than creating all those invoices in QuickBooks. So they can give you a list and then you can create the invoices. Or maybe they're recurring transactions and they charge Sally's office the same amount every single month. So you can set up a reoccurring invoice in there. So that's gonna be a little bit client specific, but hopefully Hopefully you can find a really good way to do a completely digital option for invoicing. All right, 
And same thing with payroll. So I recommend having a payroll company, not doing manual payroll as a bookkeeper. You can do that within QuickBooks Online. They have a payroll system. I have heard mixed things about that. I actually haven't used it myself. I hear complaints about it, but I'm sure there's also people, tons of people who are using it like happily. The payroll system I am most familiar with is Gusto. It's quite easy and user-friendly to put all the people in there that need to be paid. And then they do direct deposits and you can sync that with QuickBooks Online. And bank statements. I'm assuming that your clients aren't getting those in the mail anymore. Maybe they are. You will need those every month. Now for many banks, QuickBooks Online will feed the bank statements in there. I'm not sure what percentage of banks are in there. I feel like maybe like 50% or so. So that is great if your client's bank automatically feeds in there. If not, you will most likely have to have them download their statement offline and send it over to you or stick it in one of those confidential document storage places. And I would say in more rare cases, you might be able to get a login yourself to their bank and go and download the statement yourself. All right, and how will you get paid as a bookkeeper by your bookkeeping clients? I have a video all about that of five ways that I get paid. Of course, that will be linked in the description box for you. This has changed over the years. I'm gonna tell you, when I first started bookkeeping, I would send people an email invoice and they would mail me a paper check. So I guess you still could do that as a remote bookkeeper if it's easier for them to write checks and then you don't have to really worry about any fees. An ACH bank transfer is also a good option. And there's a lot of different payment processing options Then they're gonna have different fees. I like Melio. I think that one is pretty cheap. I've also heard of Zelle. I haven't used it yet. And then of course, PayPal is a big popular one. I do find the fees a little higher at PayPal. And what about traveling as a virtual bookkeeper? I think this is a great perk of the job if you're interested in that. My family and I actually just went to Palm Springs for two weeks for spring break. And in the past, that would have stressed me out just to be away from like work so long. But like I was able to run payroll while I was on vacation. I can log into QuickBooks Online anywhere. And a couple tips for traveling. Make sure you're not on public Wi-Fi. You want to get like a VPN or use a private Wi-Fi. Make sure all your passwords are protected. I like LastPass for that. And I think that I talk about that in my confidential video as well, the one that I already mentioned. And as a bookkeeper, you can kind of be strategic and plan vacations during the time of month you're not as busy. So you're probably gonna be more busy at the beginning of the month. So maybe just take your vacations later on in the month if you have the option. Make sure you communicate with clients so they know you're not in the office. Maybe you'll be a little slower returning emails or maybe you won't, I don't know, it's up to you to set your schedule. And then I also wanna plant the seed. You might not be ready for it yet, but at some point you can outsource some of the tasks that you're doing as a bookkeeper. So I have another video about how to hire a virtual assistant when the time comes. So maybe you wanna outsource some of your marketing as a bookkeeper. Maybe you wanna hire another bookkeeper to do some like simple tasks for you and then you're really doing like the client management. There's a lot of different options for you and you definitely don't have to hire someone full time. It can just be a couple hours a week and that can really help you manage your time and do the tasks that you want to do. My website is finepoints.biz. It has tons of great information for bookkeepers and I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up I forgot to say that earlier please give this video a thumbs up because that helps me out a lot it helps tell the YouTube algorithm that you like this video and show it to more people and definitely subscribe to my channel for a new bookkeeper video each week thank you guys so much for joining me today and I will talk to you soon bye